I often say that we're standing on the shoulders of giants as we make decisions about the future of CCS. The other way you could say it is we're planting seeds, or the seeds that were planted years ago are now what's producing fruit. And we have the opportunity to take the core foundations of what the founders of CCS said was distinctively important and to build on those things. We're not recreating what was started, but we have this beautiful opportunity because of the faithfulness of God through so many people uh, to build on what already has been done. It's just amazing to see over the past 25 years, you know, I, I sort of came in on the first wave of uh, some new construction on campus after converting it from the car dealership and that it was in the early 80s. Since then, I've seen so many things grow and develop uh, around campus, and I just feel like this uh, campaign is where we'll finally see a lot of uh, finishing touches we've never been able to do before. Uh, we really think about this first and foremost, is this is all about our students. And buildings are a part of that because they create the conduits through which teachers can engage our students. They create the opportunities for students to gather and develop healthy student life. So the future allows us to do that type of thing. We're, we'll have a space where kids can kind of come, come and go, but we also have a space where we're not limited to um, only going into the classroom. That room is going to allow us to give our students more experiences. Mm -hmm. And we're all about mm -hmm. more experiences for our students. The primary emphasis is maker spaces, it's library, it's science labs, it's an art room. Uh, the spaces where our students can gather and do different things they could do in traditional classrooms. Uh, and as we wrestled with what are we really trying to do with this campaign, it really all came down to what are the things that we need to do to help our students grow in a healthy and vigorous way. One of the great things that we're experiencing at CCS is growth right now, but with that growth comes some challenges. So adding classrooms, uh, regaining classroom space with the lower school's new wing really helps the middle school students to flourish. The best part for me is just knowing that this campaign is going straight back to the kids. Um, it's going to go back into spaces that are needed. It's not uncommon to walk around campus and see students hanging out together outside, um, playing the guitar, collaborating on work, um, or just simply outside reading on a beautiful day, enjoying the sun. Um, so it'll be exciting to see that these spaces are needed and they're going to be used. Um, and there's intentionality in what we're doing. We, we have a purpose, we have a plan, and um, it's exciting to see it all come together. My heart is always for children, and I would desire that every parent who would like their child at a Christian school at Chattanooga Christian would have the opportunity to do that. If we're gonna be really committed uh, and saying that we really believe in socioeconomic diversity, we have to put the resources behind that. Uh, so that our families have access to the best that CCS provides. I've seen God's faithfulness throughout all these years, and I'm excited that that will continue. And I believe this campaign, the, the elements of this campaign, do a wonderful job of saying we're, we're extraordinarily thankful for what CCS has been through these first 40 plus years, and we're extraordinarily excited about what CCS is gonna be in the next 40 years. So it's, it's, it's much, much bigger than the buildings that will be built as a result of your generosity and the students that will be able to come today as the result of your ge generosity. It's about the testimony of God's faithfulness through CCS and through all of you yesterday, today, and into the future.